Hare Krishna. The lesser the structure in our life, the greater the rupture the mind can cause in our life. Our mind is extremely fickle. The Bhagavad Gita says that it is chanchala, restless, but it is not harmlessly restless like a child. It is harmfully restless like a madman. And such a restless mind is, is it needs structure to not go wild. So structure means that suppose we, if we wake up in the morning and we have nothing to do throughout the day, and maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that. And then we may find that we may spend the whole day just sleeping or fooling around. And sometimes at the end of the day, we think, what did I do? I didn't do anything constructive. And nowadays, with internet available for us, you know, we just, we just lie in our bed and do nothing throughout our day. Nothing constructive, just surfing this site, watching this movie, looking at this, looking at that. We may waste our entire life that way. So if you don't want to do that, then it's vital for us to create some structure. Structure means we need to have some plan. Do this at this time. I do that at that time. And now we don't want to be completely crammed by our by the structure, by the schedule, but we do need some structure. The less there is structure in our life, the greater the rupture we can, my, the mind can cause in our life. And nowadays, say, people don't consider relationships to be sacred. The bond of marriage is not also not considered to be sacred. So what happens because of that? We end up actually, uh, people end up on an impulse uh, getting into relation, affairs or getting into, giving into temptation, which can just break their lives. So marriage is a structure that can protect people from immoral temptation. But if they don't take the structure of marriage seriously, then they will, their life will be ruptured. So whether it is the structure in terms of daily schedules or the structure in terms of committed relationships, and, and most important structure that we need is the structure in terms of spiritual disciplines. The structure of spiritual disciplines, uh, that is sadhana, will not just force the mind to move in a particular way, even if it doesn't feel like doing it, just like if we have a job, then uh, even if we don't feel like going for a job, if that, that the job is what we need for our sustenance, then we will go for it no matter what happens. So no matter how we feel about it. So that structure pushes us to neglect the mind and move constructively. And uh, if we don't have structure for our sadhana, then again we will leave our sadhana to the mind's feelings. If we feel like it, we'll do it. If we don't feel like it, we will never do it. And thus, we will not become purified. Our mind will go more and more wild. So when we have a structure in terms of schedule, in terms of relationships, and in terms of spiritual disciplines, we'll find that the mind will gradually be become less wild, will become less restless and become more focused. And then gradually it will become our friend and help us onwards towards progress and success in all walks of our life. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm.